development, it will be difficult for Nadim Anjawala, a director of Binance who escaped from custody after he was detained by the Nigerian government to evade arrest. Minister of Information and National Orientation Mohamed Idris said the international police, Interpol, are currently on Anjawala's trail and there will be no hiding place for him. It was also revealed that collaborative efforts between relevant security agencies, various government bodies, and the international community are already underway to swiftly locate and detain the fugitive. This development comes after the Office of the National Security Advisor confirmed his escape from custody last Friday. Preliminary investigations show that Mr. Anjawala fled Nigeria using a smuggled passport. And while the personnel responsible for the custody of the suspect have been arrested, the federal government of Nigeria, like other governments around the world, have been investigating money laundering and terrorism financing transactions perpetrated on the Binance Currency Exchange platform. Now joining us for this conversation is public affairs analyst Muiwa Ugunlaja. Good morning. Good morning, Thank you for joining us. Now let's Good begin morning. with um, what your thought was when you heard this story about someone being in custody of the government and suddenly escaping because he wanted to go and pray. Uh, there was a nearby mosque and then he was taken there and he disappeared. <laughs> uh, I see that as a premeditated move. Mm. It was like um, the gentleman was given a kind of soft landing mm. by the security office, by the security main personnel in connivance with their high ranking officers. And I'll let you know why I have this opinion. Right. Now, uh, firstly, uh, this is a gentleman who happened to be a British Kenyan. He has dual citizenship and has the passport. He has British passport. He has Kenyan passport. Mm. You arrested him and you seized only his British passport, leaving the Kenyan passport with him. But it's reported that it was smuggled. Oh, so done. No, okay. well, I agree That's with you. That's the report yeah. how, did the, how did that passport, which if they had actually taken it from him, how did he get smuggled out for him to, to be given? If not, connivance with someone, an insider, who knows where that passport has been kept. That's number one. Number two, anytime you have a high-ranking suspect like that, the normal thing is for the, for the ministry, for the ministry of, um, um, for the immigration office to be informed. Mm. And when the immigration office is informed, the man is placed on the watch list mm. to the extent that his photograph and his name will have been sent to the immigration office and to all international airports. This was not done. It was left like that. If that had been done, there would have been no way we would escape arrest in one of these international airports. Mm. He didn't travel out of the country, out of Nigeria. He traveled to one of our international airports. Mm -hmm. Number three, the, the, the practices, anybody who has been so arrested and you are in the custody, mind you, the man has been in, is in custody due to the pronouncement of a court of competent jurisdiction mm -hmm. for him to be presented on the 4th of April for the starting of the, for, of the commencement of the case. Mm -hmm. The Office of the National Advisor on, Secure, on a National Security Advisor, to the best of my knowledge, does not have that kind of facility to keep a high-ranking person like that because I don't think they have Detention facilities. According to reports, he was kept in a guest house. No, a guest house. Yeah. Why should <laughs> why should someone who has been suspected of financing terrorism? Financing terrorism. His platform. One, this pla is platform, yes. Uh, who is um uh, Binance? Who is um uh, uh, Anjawala. Anjawala. Uh, what are you saying? It's not the same. Who is uh, I don't want to mention them, but it's just the same. Let's put it that way. Now if that kind of a person should be under proper care, he should have been, as we met in order to be remanded, he should have been sent to a place like the EFCC or, the, or, or, or DSS that have competent, adequate, well-secured security facilities. That was not done. Aside from that, the practice is anybody that has been so detained. Where you have been detained will serve as your house, your hotel, your mosque, mm. your church, even if possible, your toilet. Mm -hmm. Why was he allowed to leave the place to a nearby mosque to go and pray? When under normal circumstances, 
that place of detention should serve that purpose. Mm. Then, the soldiers on duty, the guards, they are meant to only guide him to ensure that his safety and to ensure that he does not elope. They have no right to take him out of the place to any nearby mosque. That should come from a superior authority. How did those soldiers... Well, we do, not know if, if, we do not know if they got a directive. Well, well, okay. Mind you, soldiers I know will not act unless so directed. But if they have self personal motive for doing that, they will do it. No wonder they plan coups. But that be directed to plan coups. Mm. Uh -huh. So it's not but all, we do not have that it's information. Not all right. It's not all actions of theirs that, you, that is consequent to directives from their superior authorities mm. at times. So when you look at this scenario, and you come to agree that something is wrong, and there are about three or four soldiers to, to guide him, how can just one person run away from three or four armed, fully armed Nigerian soldiers? A, a, a single Nigerian soldier is equivalent to about 10 or 20 police officers somewhere else. Let's talk about three or four. There's something is wrong. Mm. And that is an indictment of our national security. People don't know. Now, it shows that this country, we have not called security. We are, we are, become, we are going to become a laughing stock. Well, you cannot secure just a single person. I want to ensure that we arrest all Boko Haram members. If we arrest them, I will be secure them. Would they run away as this, this man has a look? It has meaning. It has interpretations. And I hope government will look into it. And then... Um, so, so what, what's, what's, what's your interpretation of, of what has happened? My interpretation is that a lot of, a lot of leakages here and there, security breaches here and there, it means you still have some, some jealousies in the system. You still have, you have a lot of cogs in the wheel of progress, and they must be removed. If they are not blocked, you will still be continuing. So if something drastic has to be done. And this is the opportunity to do that. Because it, it, it portrays the fact that um, a, lot is, a lot is happening. And we are in the office of the National Security Advisor. Ah, it has meaning. Mm. In, well, in, a, in, a, in a civilized crimes, that advisor ought to have resigned. Mm. That is the truth. It is an indictment. A great indictment, yes. And that means it's not competent enough. Why do the box stops on the table? Mm. No matter what happens, these people are working under you. And you are sitting there in the office doing what? What are you advising? Mm. Okay, so they got, the federal government has gone to the International Criminal Police in Tokyo. Yeah. In, and in all of this now, what should we expect? Like you have mentioned the, 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 the implication for our image internationally. Yeah. But looking at the fact that we have gone to Interpol, yeah. in the immediate, what can the government do? Especially with the people that it said it had arrested, the corporate involved. Oh, well, in the immediate, I want to say that, I want to comment the, the measures so far taken by the government. I equally got to know that they have contacted the Kenyan authority, mm -hmm. the Kenyan government to say, okay, if I try to move to Kenya, being a Kenyan citizen, let's assume that. But um, I know Interpol, as um, other security agencies worldwide, the agency is noted for its um, truthfulness and its um, widespread tentacles that can hardly be beaten. And if they really want to assist Nigeria, they'll get the man. But in the interim, all those responsible for the maintenance of security within the office of the National Security Advisor should be questioned. The adversary himself deserves to be questioned. Mm. It Who is questions start, him? Eh, it, no, that is the problem. It is. It is high time we started nailing. We started eating the nail on his head. Nobody is above the law. Mm. Nobody is infallible. A mistake has been made. A grievous one. It shows incompetence. That is the truth. It's like losing a baby. It's like um, 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 a, a doctor on duty. Who is a renowned um, um, uh, um, uh, pediatrician, not knowing what to do with a six month old baby who has ordinary malaria or ordinary temperature? This is the point. What's he doing in the hospital as a consultant pediatrician? What are you doing as a secured, national security advisor in your own office? 
It's smart um, 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 incompetence. And this is not the time for Nigerians to keep incompetent people. Hmm. The story around this thing is always, is, 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 it, it actually is um, that people, well, he was helped in different ways, especially the Middle East airliner where he yeah. escaped through. Should they be sanctioned as well? No. No. Why, Why? not? Very good. They never knew. But he How are you certain that they did not know? Eh? He's a person of interest. He's a person of interest. Listen, those who will know about the man's um, 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 uh, activities will be high ranking, not the, not, the, um, um, uh, not the person on the counter. Not the, not the pilot. Hmm. Not the pilot. But his, they wouldn't know. The story was all he around. The story was all, ar all around in the news. He presented his passport. His, his documents. His documents, documents, yes. Right. Who, who, who knows whether the name of the passport is not even that name? And they are looking for that name. You hmm. see? But if the gentleman, if he has been placed on the watch list, his photographs displayed all over the traditional efforts with customs, with immigration, they do not have to, have to explain how they did pass This through. also speaks to the matter of collaboration. Mm -hmm. This the is sister saying, agencies. I said, there's, connivance. I said mm -hmm. it. there's complicity. There's connivance. A lot of, a, a lot of um, eggs must roll if it has to be nipped in the bud. If it is properly investigated, many people are in the know of what happened. I said the man has been given a soft landing maybe because of what you know, can trust Nigerians. Is it still soft seeing that Interpol is the on way, his trail? No, the way, no, they never knew to go to that extent. Mm -hmm. They told the moment he escaped, that would be the end. And then Nigeria, the moment you raise the dust, after some time, as soon as the dust set, is settled, then that will be the end. I know this will not be the end of this one anyway, mm -hmm. but this is, this is serious. It's a great indictment on, um, um, on our nation, on the, on the, on the truthfulness of President Bolatinobu to really want to wake Nigeria up and to be in charge. I really hope that we use this as an opportunity to tell his officers and his um, trusted allies that I'm here to work. I'm not here on, on basis of friendship. You either have to work and do it for me or you get out. So you're optimistic that a, a proper investigation will be conducted? It will be conducted knowing the, knowing the import of what has just happened mm. on our reputation, image. Mm. on our image, on the, on, the, on, the, on the culture the president is trying to build, and on the security system. Of the country that we are so much um, uh, talking about that is improving, though with traces of um, lapses here and there. But, but th this thing. matter of getting those who are complicit, you know, we have always talked about, you know, faith columnists, how it is that we need to fish them out. Yeah. But it has not always been as easy as, yes, as, yes. as that to just yes. fish them out like that. It is the will, the political will to want to do what is proper. You see? But because of this enabling environment now, I say enabling because when people are angry that this is happening, the social committee is calling angry that this is happening. And because of that, the enabling will is there. If the president decides to allow, to, to, to make heads to rule, nobody will raise any dust. Because the people who have ruled that, they deserve that punishment. It is too much, it is too much of a slight. And coming from an office, that is responsible for the security of the nation? How do you explain that? Mm -hmm. So that is the reason that explains why adequate steps must be taken. It could be, it could, at times could be draconian, but it has to be done now. So do you think he will hear about heads rolling? Because this is since Friday now. Nothing, we haven't had any heads roll well, for some days now. I said at the beginning, now, just now that, the political will. Mm. The political will to say, I want to do it. That is the point. And that's why I'm asking you. Are you confident we will see that happen? Considering Nigeria's situation, I am not all that sure. <laughs> mm. I am not all that sure. Because a number of factors are actually taken into consideration in taking decisions in this country. And these are factors that are mundane, that are not important. But because of political interest, and because people and leaders want to be there at all costs, they want to secure a second term, if possible, a third term. As I said, they're ready to step on toes. From the body language of the president, is that what you have seen? Knowing that his reputation is all at stake at this point? I have just told you that when you are, when you are hoodwinked, when, you are, when, you when, you, when your eyes are tied, 
At times you want to stoop to conquer. And it shows wisdom when you stoop to conquer. But in this case, something has to be done quickly. Because that damage done is, is if, if something is not done, it will become irredeemable. And when it is irredeemable, the spiral effects will be damaging on Nigerians, on our security, even on our economy. Because people will, be, will feel that, well, I cannot come to that nation to transfer business. Ah, no, 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 it's not safe. My money will not be safe. And it's a company that is involved in almost 26 billion naira, um, 26 billion dollars worth of transactions that are not traceable. Imagine that. This is a company that, is, this is a company that has evaded taxes, Mm. That will not remit, that will not make remit, that will not remit any, 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 any return, yeah. that will not pay VAT, that will allow people to escape payment taxes, that will allow people to do money laundry. Ah. And you are allowing that to, 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 to go? No, 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 no. So, it is too much of a, an insult on uh, the psyche of Nigerians. So let's look at uh, um, international collaborations in yeah. this matter now. Yeah. Uh, do you think, um, like you mentioned, political interest, do you think political interest will be at play between Nigeria and maybe his destination country, be it Kenya or Britain, in ensuring that we either arrest him or he's let or go? Or he gets a soft landing. That like is one of the reasons mm. for asking for to call bilateral agreements. Bilateral agreements. No nation can stand on its own. It's important. You must be in good terms to your neighbors, even with your enemies. Because at times you will need your enemy. Now we need Kenya. Mm -hmm. So, and I believe that I want to believe that we are in um, good relations with Kenya. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, it should not be any problem. But if that's not the case, that country has the right to protect its own citizen. So, if that happens. What, what, what becomes the, 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 uh -huh. what's the necessity of this? There's such, there's, there are international laws and treaties Absolutely. that Kenya will have signed that may not be, may not be direct, direct uh, relationship with Nigeria, but internationally. And that, that kind of, that kind of um, um, opening yeah. can be used by Interpol mm. to get the man extradited mm. and brought to Nigeria to face the wrath of the law. But under normal circumstances, if Nigeria and Kenya are on the same page, then it's just a change of a, of, 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 of a prisoner in court or suspect, mm -hmm. and that can be done. They can even send, bring him along with a Kenyan lawyer to come and defend him mm -hmm. to show that the country will not leave its citizen alone, but it will ensure that justice it's is done. done and seem to be done. And seem to be done. Now, like we were mentioned earlier, the, the, the government is looking at uh, fighting money laundering, terrorism financing transactions, mm -hmm. and all of it. Recall that some names were, you know, printed out or put out rather yeah. uh, some uh, days back. Yeah. I wonder how much of a setback this is with what we intend to achieve, knowing that his platform was said to be used to be doing this. What, you are, what, what this has done is to tell those Nigerians already listed that you can run away and escape the wrath and escape the wrath of the law. That is the meaning. If the man is already arrested, but if he's rearrested, those ones can be sure that they will face the full wrath of the law and they will pay for the actions. So it is important for government to let people know that we are serious with this. And when that happens, Many people will be discouraged from going into it. There will be drastic, there will be drastic drop in terrorism. There will be drop in money laundering, and the economy will pick up. It's an opportunity for the government to ensure that the Nigerian economy is re-engineered. Uh, it becomes, it, it should be. Uh, it is an opportunity to say that yes, this economy has to come on board back, and all those responsible for the. The, is it uh, that easy? Because the names that we, we the list that we saw, yeah. this is not the first time that uh, we have been talking about fighting. But this is the first time names should be released. Yes, this is the first time names will be this released. Is the first time. But there are still concerns with regards to uh, what should be done after the names have been released. There are those who are saying time is of essence. Yes. Government has to step in to address and bring these persons to book. Yes. Not much has been heard about yes. that. Yes. And so that we also need to have separate courts to try these people yes. because of time again. Yes. But we are not seeing any of that. You are right. But the question was when that, the, the, the point that was understood is that. Governments must act within the ambit of the law. 
no matter the the need for no matter the urgency required, it should be within the ambit of the law. Government too is under the law. The law supersedes every other thing, including the institution of government. Therefore, it is what it is the procedure of the law that has to be followed. I mind in governance, it's always bureaucratic, but it is always it's thorough. It's thorough. You have to do proper investigation. You must prove the you must prove you never reasonable doubt that these people are involved. And, when, and that will take some time. That is not to say that they should sleep on it. It can be done if the will is there. Under normal circumstances. Mr. What do you Under normal circumstances. Do you know you did not waste time? God bless you. If, can, if the will is there. So, so what that's law that's do we need to prove that these people... talking about political will. Right. The political will is not all that there. Why do you think the political will isn't there? You, um, uh, Nigerian political system is, is, is um, what I call... What I call uh, marriage of convenience. It's not direct marriage of love. It's just of convenience. Two people coming together. Just so for a particular purpose. To achieve an aim that is, that is parochial, that is selfish. That is not people centric. That is not people centric. That is the truth. It is not. That is it. If it was to be people centric, this gentleman himself will have resigned. The president will have fired him. The president will have asked to leave the office. If you don't find him, go on suspension. Until investigation is conducted. You cannot be a judge of your own case. You cannot be in the office and allow thorough investigation to be done. If it's not in office, people can open up. Who says those soldiers will not have what to say? Or those, I will not call them soldiers, those security personnel. Mm. But would they want to talk when the man is still in charge? They would not want to talk. Let us be realistic. In the civil service, any time anything happens in the department, and they want to get the truth out of it, they will ask the other department to proceed on leave mm, mm. so that the investigation can be done. Now that we don't have that kind of situation. We don't have it. So mm. what, what, where, where do we go from here now? Where I go from here is for the president to sit up. Let him sit up. Listen, yeah, my, my, in Africa, you, you die only once. You cannot die two, two times. Well, that's 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 nature. Mm. He will not be killed again. Mm. Ramat, Ramat Mohammed was killed in uh, February. He will not be killed again. But his deeds were there. We are still referring to those deeds. He should wake up and do what is necessary within the ambit of the law. And the law says those who have done that must be dealt with. They should be dealt with. And in doing that, it must be decisive. It must be decisive. It is the general, it is the overall interest of Nigerians that is important. Not the interest of your close friend, your associate. Or your political support supporters who will ensure that you have a second term or a third term. It is a Nigerian's happy with this. Will it benefit the nation? Will it benefit the reputation of the country? And will it be of, 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 of advantage to our economy? If these questions are properly answered, then something must be done fast. Now, there, there are those who are still left in custody because yeah. it's just one person that yes. ran away. So, how should we? Handle them now, <laughs> <laughs> so they wouldn't disappear from us. proper custody. Let them be sent to hmm. proper custody. That office, I don't think, has enough security in its own custody. A custody of a three-bedroom flat, AC, a, a guest house, where you serve international dishes, where you get whatever you want. Well, where, uh, what are you saying? Is that custody? Take him to every single place. But it, 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 his freedom of movement, his freedom right to freedom of, freedom of movement. No, 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 get it right. Right. The moment you are a suspect, you have lost all your freedom. Mm. The only freedom you have is for you to be to be properly represented in the court of law. Mm. That's the only freedom you have. And the freedom to write your statement if you want to or not to write it. That's your business. But that freedom you have lost that. But that's Am not necessarily what we see here. That is that's not what's there. He has other freedoms. He's one who said I want to go to the nearby mosque to go and pray, and it's allowed. You can't do a lot. Do you know that you can pray seated here? Absolutely. You can. It was also alleged that he had access to phones. Mm. Look at that. You can't pray seated here. It's just it's connivance, complicity of the highest order, and that's why I want that air to look good so that people can talk. People can talk. It is complicity of the highest order. I'm not convinced that the top echelon 
of that office did not know about it. I am not convinced that some people in Nigerian immigration did not know about it. I am not convinced that... Until you see that not, true. I'm not. You're right. I'm not convinced. Until you see the proof. But I know that ordinary ticket man on the counter of a Kenya airline or any other counter is not guilty. Because we will not know. Hmm. He, may, he, might he was not informed. Been, he might even have been there on a separate name. Do the same photograph, but not his name. He will know about the name. He may not see the face because the man has not replaced on the watch list. Mm. Information has not gone around. Not informed. And that is the essence of information. So she mentioned that there are other people that have been arrested. Yes. She, yeah. Those will be placed on the watch list now. Now, yes. They should be. Mm. So they can guide against it. So if they, they venture to run away, they can go, ah, this is the man. Ah, that is the face. Oh, no, you can't go anywhere unless you dress like a woman. Even if you do, you will still get you. <laughs> but there are also those who raise concerns about how they were arrested. Mm. Like, you know, the federal government called them to come and answer questions. Yes. But then they were taken to courts and all of a sudden kept in custody. Mm -mm, that not, is also not kept in custody. On the order of a court of competent jurisdiction. jurisdiction. So that's it. If the court had said, no, grant them bail, they would have been granted bail. That's why I said everything is within the ambit of the law. So for, for jumping custody now, you have flouted the order of that court. Be caught, yeah. That again is an offense on its own. And that again he has to answer for. That is the point. And those who allow him to equally do so, they have become alibi. They are they are, they have become um, agents, they have become uh, they are precariously liable for whatever happens. To ask whatever will be the punishment of that man because they assisted him to flout the law of the land and nobody flouts the law of the land without facing the repercussions. Right. The, the other question is how people, because you've been talking about complicity in yeah. this matter, uh, and I'd like for you to quickly address that. How easy is it for uh, security personnel to be bought over? Isn't that concerning? It is, it is disturbing. It is, it is. Uh, I cannot, I cannot phantom that idea because security officers are meant to be people of people of extreme commitment to the nation. Mm. People can die for the nation. That is the meaning of being security officers. People who love nothing but their nation. The first thing of the, their first love is the country. Their last love is the country. Right. We'll, we'll continue this line of thoughts, but that'll be after this break. Stay with us.